Welcome to our poster presentation on Exploring Desire Goal Conflict Across Cultures, a cross-sectional study of collectivistic and individualistic orientations among university students using the integrative model of self-control. This research was conducted at the University of Dundee by Yvonne Akano and Dr. Blair Saunders. Our research explores how cultural orientation affects desire and desirable conflict among university students. This study is grounded in the integrative theory of self-control, focusing on the activation clusters where desire and a partially incompatible higher order goal coactivate, leading to desirable conflicts. Our study proposes two main hypotheses, that students from collectivistic cultures such as Nigeria will exhibit either a higher or a lower level of desirable conflict compared to students with individualistic cultures like Scotland with collectivistic cultures likely showing higher levels of desire and goal interconnectedness. And so, secondly, Regardless of nationality, students with a collectivistic orientation will experience either a higher or a lower level of desirable conflict compared to those with individualistic cultures. And collectivistic cultures will also show stronger desire and goal interconnectedness. We employed a cross-sectional design with correlational and cross-cultural comparative approaches. Our study sample consisted of 241 university students from Nigerian and Scottish universities, all 18 years or older. We used online platforms and advertisement for recruitment, focusing on convenience and snowballing sampling methods. Surveys assessed participant desires, their conflicts with goals, their sense of interconnectedness, and their cultural orientation. The tools that we used included the inclusion of others in self-skill and the standardized individualism and collectivism skill, alongside measures of desire types and conflicting goal types using the Likert skill. Our results revealed notable differences in desire types, particularly Desires related to sex and alcohol were more frequently report reported among the Scottish students. This could reflect cultural variations in, and social norms and openness concerned um, with reporting these desires. The most commonly reported conflicting goals for both Nigerian and Scottish students was getting things done, emphasizing a shared focus on efficacy and efficiency and productivity among the students. For statistical analysis, we did a t-test and a regression analysis. For the t-test, it indicated significant differences across all variables, including desire strength, desire goal conflict, and goal interconnectedness, as well as desire interconnectedness. Notably, Scottish students showed higher desire strength, while Nigerian students reported higher levels of desire goal conflict and a stronger interconnectedness of desire and goal with others in the community. The result of the re regression analysis showed that horizontal collectivism negatively impacted desire strength, suggesting that strong horizontal collectivistic orientation leads to a lower desire strength. And vertical collectivism was positively associated with increased desire goal conflicts, indicating that a stronger vertical cultural orientation leads to frequent conflict between desire and goals. This result highlights uh, significant cultural differences in desires, managing desires and goals, and thus underscores the importance of cultural context in understanding self-control dynamics. And our study suggests that cultural orientation profoundly influences how desire and goals are experienced and managed. Thank you.